Hi, I'm Dr. James. Over the last 25 to 30 years, I've spent a lot of my time and energy studying achievement and studying uh, performance and basically the practices of happiness and life fulfillment. And it's been really interesting to me over the last few years, I've really started to understand the power of a couple of key things that I know have helped me immeasurably that I believe strongly are going to help you. And one of them is the whole idea of creating your day. And what I've learned over the last few years and really started to hone this one skill, it's a discipline. And when I think of a discipline, I want you to think of this as I love to, which is it's being a student of your own life. And when you're a student of your own life, you tend to know when things are working. And if you study your life and you know when you're happiest, when you're feeling most alive, and I love to say, when I'm most peaceful at night, something happened during that day a certain thing happened and usually it's about getting the things done that I love to get done and that are really around meaning and purpose. So here's the thing. It's all about the idea of creating your day from having positive rituals. Positive rituals that you know you start the day and it literally puts you on a trajectory to accomplishing the things that you need to accomplish to get that sense of peace, that sense of purpose and to help you perform at your best. So there's three things I want you to do. Number one, wake up first thing in the morning and give yourself permission to embrace the day from a spirit of possibility. And I think that if we move from that place of, from dread and foreboding into the place of possibility and opportunity, that sets a tone right out of the gate to make great things happen. Number two, engage in a visualization practice. Just take a few moments before you get out of bed or outside of bed when you're meditating and picture the day that you want to be creating for yourself. Studies show that the part of our brain that loves to make things happen, when we actually have a picture of what we want to make happen, it tells the part of the brain that actually makes things happen to get to work and get about creating. And the third thing I want you to do is give yourself the opportunity to embrace movement because all motion creates positive emotion and action is the game changer. Just getting yourself moving in the direction of the rituals that allow you to start creating the things that you want to experience. It's that simple. Don't get yourself in a place where you're all about the outcome. Be on purpose. And when you're on purpose, the outcome is assured. The power of positive rituals will not only change your day, it'll change your life. And this is the opportunity we all have every single day to create the day that we most want. So make it happen today.